Hello, my name is Anna Stable and I'm the showmanship judge today at the Albert and Calf Show. This is Lydia Griffiths, she's going to help me with the handling demonstration. Um, so we're going to start off by talking about what you want to do with your calf before you get to the calf show. So once you've selected your calf, um, you want to choose a calf that's the right size for you. This calf is actually a little bit too, too big for Lydia. Um, you want to be able to see it over your calf's head. So Lydia ideally could do the calf that's just a little bit smaller. So just looking at some of the finer points, when, you've, when you're looking at how to hold the head, Lydia's got his head nice and high, but she, as you can see, she's not got the nose in the air. You want to try and have a nice straight line from the pole to the nose to your elbow. This is the neatest way. You don't want the calf's nose up in the air, so if Lydia just lifts the head too much, this is, too, this is having the head too high and it's unnatural. You want the calf's head in a nice natural position like this. When you, put a, when you pick your leather holster, they come in different sizes. Um, so you want to pick a holster that fits right. You can adjust them. They've got a strap on the other side that can be adjustable. Um, but the holster, across the band across the nose, wants to sit roughly halfway between the eye and the nose. Um, this is the best place to give you the most control over your calf. Also, you see there's a metal clasp here. You always want to fasten it so that the clasp is on the outside. This is so it doesn't dig into the calf's jaw. It's more comfortable for her. Um, and you also, when you're leading the calf, once you've got your calf trained and you're leading her, um, this bit here of the leather strap, you'll then roll up so that it looks neater. But while you're practicing, you can still keep it loose like this for now. So the outfit that Lydia's got on is um, the outfit that Holstein showmanship people of exhibitors should wear. So it's a white shirt, white jeans, um, a belt and boots. Your belt and boots should be the same colour um, and you'll see that she's got a HYB tie on as well. So when you first walk into the ring you start walking in forwards like Lydia's going to show you now. So you're walking forward and you're trying to walk in time with your calf so you'll see Lydia's trying to walk and moving the same feet as the calf does at the same time. And um, This is just to make you look smooth and in unison with your calf. So you walk all the way in the ring like this at a relatively quick pace because we're trying to get everybody into the ring together. Once, all the, once the last exhibitor is in the ring, you then turn around and start walking backwards, like Lydia is doing now. And this is how you show your calf. So as the judge moves around, you'll adjust your position so that you can always keep an eye on the judge and the calf. There are a few signals that you need to know um, as, you, as you're moving around the ring. So the judge will ask you to stop at some point by raising their hands. And when you stop your calf, you're looking to set your calf up so that the back leg nearest the judge is furthest back. You don't want your calf too stretched, you want it to look nice and natural. Um, you also want to try and have the front feet um, just like this so that there's a nice distance between them. And where you can when you're practicing with your calf, you want to try and, try and teach your calf to set those front feet up as smoothly as you can. And if you can do it with your hand, it's much smoother. Some judges don't mind you using your feet. Personally, for me, I prefer you to use your hands. So the judge asks you to set up like this uh, and they'll do this a few times as you're moving around the ring and then they'll ask you to walk on again. So this is a signal for moving on. And they'll do this a few times and they'll, they'll be watching all the different exhibitors and the reason they're doing this is to see how quickly and how well you can set up your calf. So then once you've been around the ring um, a time or so, the judge will then look at doing an individual inspection with each calf. They'll then ask the exhibitor to stop and this is just aimed at one exhibitor and so the, again, you'll set your calf up like you have done before. This time the judge will then approach the calf once you're, once you're happy you've set it up. For me, I've initially put my hand on the ribs and I look for the handlers to pull the head away from me slightly. This is to pull, stretch the skin so I can see the calf's ribs. I'll then go and try and pinch the skin and as you see Lydia's moving the head towards me and this is so that I can try and get a feel of how dariness, the dariness of the calf's skin. All the time trying to keep your calf set up. I'll then walk around the front of the calf and at this point I'm looking for you as the, as the exhibitor to step away from your calf a little bit because I want to be able to see the whole calf. I want to be able to see down both sides. I want to see the width of the calf. I don't want you to crowd the calf. So I step at the front and then I'll move to this side. And when I move to this side, Lydia's already done this for me. She switched the legs so that the back leg closest to the judge again is furthest back. The, the reason you do this is so that your calf always looks stretched and longer for the judge. So then I'll walk behind the calf and at this point I'm looking for the exhibitor to keep the calf in a nice straight line, a lovely straight line along that spine and then I'll ask the exhibitor to walk on. So the judge will do this for every single exhibitor in the ring. Once they've done this they then start moving on to looking to place, place people into their positions. So I'll ask Lydia to come into first place and there'll be a steward in the ring that will ask you, it'll tell you where to go. So for now we'll ask Lydia to pull into here 
and the steward will tell you where to stop. And again, you set up your calf. So when you're in first place, so this is first, and then second place would come in here, third, fourth, and subsequent places. So therefore, the calf in first place wants the leg on this outside back so that the calf looks stretched for the judge on the outside. Second place downwards will actually set up their calf's legs the opposite way round because the calf on the bottom, the side that the judges will see is the opposite way round. When you're in this lineup, the judge may ask you to move places up and down the line. Um, so to do this, they may say, can you take your calf into third place? So Lydia, because she's in first place, she will just move forward and peel off to the left. And then when you're doing this part, you want to move your calf relatively quickly. You don't want to upset her, make her look unnatural, but you want to be moving in a relatively quick pace. So you're walking forwards at this point. Okay, so here Lydia is stood in second place. We have a first place calf here and the third and sub subsequent places. So here I'm going to ask Lydia to take her calf and move it into, th into first place. So rather than like in first place peeling off to the left, when you're in second and subsequent places, you walk your calf forwards, walking forward yourself, and you go out and then you walk, turn to the right, walking around your calf, and you come back through the space you were stood in. So, you, so Lydia would come back through first, between first and third place. Um, when you're doing this, you want to walk at a nice quick pace. Um, you don't want to take too long because the judge is looking to move other people. And so, so you want to do it at a relatively quick pace. So Lydia would come back through between first and third, and then move into whichever position that she's been asked to move into. So in this case, Lydia will move in, up into first place. So Lydia then moves up into first place. And then from this, play, from this position, the judge will then tap out the exhibitors into the final lineup that they want. So they're the key points for showmanship. There's just a few little, little things that you should know as well. Um, you should know your calf, you should try and know your calf. So some calves tend to roach their back a little bit. This calf doesn't, so she doesn't need it. But if your calf did, if your calf did roach its back a little bit, um, if you just pinch it in the middle of its back, it just dips and so it just ends up straightening the calf's back. On the other hand, your calf may be a little bit weak in the loin, so you can just pinch it underneath and that will make the calf just raise its back up a little bit. But only do these things if your calf needs them. There's no point just going through the motions and, and, and tweaking and touching things if your calf doesn't need it. Some calves tend to hold their tail a little bit high like this. If that's the case, you can just give it a little touch and just a little nip and it'll put the tail down. But again, if your calf doesn't need it, don't do it. When you set your calf up, only do what needs doing to the calf. So they're the main things to really look at for showmanship. Um, the other thing is to remember to enjoy it. We do this for fun, so you really do want to try and enjoy it. Have a smile on your face and be relaxed. Um, and good luck to everybody competing.